Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's Case Breaks.com coming at you with a fun break right here. 2023 Hit Parade Autographed Baseball Officially Licensed Jersey uh, Series 3. This is a 10 box break, random team, number one. There's a two spot promo for the people who bought full spots. All 30 baseball teams apply. If there's non pro jerseys, we'll use our college rules or no checklist rules. Basically, if it's a retired player, I don't know, let's say it's a minor league jersey or if it's a college jersey or something like that. If it's a retired player, it'll go to the team they played for the longest. If they're an active player, it'll go to the team that they're currently on. Uh, if it's an active player who's a free agent at the moment, I know there's a number of those players still out there, it'll go to the team they were most recently on as of today. First of all, the two-spot giveaway. Very good odds right here. Only sold 12 spots outright, so let's do that first. Top two of the 12 after two and a two. Deuces are wild. Four the hard way gets extra spots. One, two, three, and four. Good luck. Jason and Steve, congrats to you. Extra spots going your way after four for the hard way. All right, so that those rooftops will let you know that uh, distinguish your winning spots from your other spots. Congrats to all the people who won their way in in those Series 1 breaks. Appreciate you there as well. All 30 teams are in. There's a blank list for the names. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Six and a six, a full 12 times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12th and final time. Steve down Allen. Trades are allowed, but trade at your own risk. Six and a six, 12 times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12th and final time. After 12, we got the Cleveland, this is for you, Guardians, down to the Rangers. So here's how it shakes out. Steve with the Guardians, Fred with the Tigers, Brandon with the Cardinals, Andy with the Red Sox, Omar with the Rays, Alan Matsui with the O's, Jared with the Diamondbacks, Matthew with the Phillies, Fred with the Twins, Omar with the Giants, Neil with the Angels, Alan Murdoch with the uh, Padres. Bennett with the Astros, Andy with the Blue Jays, Neil with the Rockies, Alan Matsui with the Nationals, Alan Murdoch with the Brewers, back-to-back -back Alan M's, Jason with the Pirates, Zach with my Dodgers, Peter with the Yankees, Brandon with the Reds, Steve with the Royals, Alan with the White Sox, Alan Matsui with the White Sox, Austin with the Mariners, Matsui with the Braves, Kevin with the Mets, Jason with the A's and Marlins, Carter with the Cubs, and Alan Matsui with the Texas Rangers. Trade window is open. It's alphabetized by team. Trade at your own risk. We're going to pause the video when we come back. We'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so that list remains the same for random team break number one. I'm going to shorten that for the YouTube video title. All right, so there's the official printout. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. we got Kevin and Logan here. They might want to play Who Am I? So we'll play some, some quick rounds here. There's the big, giant case. we need an extra cart right here maybe to help me out. Another King's Gold. So we got some, some brown paper here. And we've got all the jerseys in here. So here they are. There it is, officially licensed, all that good stuff. Thanks everybody for making this happen. Let's 
see who we got in here. We put names on here. Let's not just go by the. Oh no, they have. All right. Good luck, everybody. Welcome to our first round of Who Am I? I'm Joe, but who is this player in here? Uh, one of those guys that bats left but throws right. An infielder has a lifetime 249 batting average, 52 home runs, and 227 runs batted in in my three-year career. Two-time All-Star already. Hit for the cycle, July 16th, 2021. Who am I? Not, I think Jeff McNeil is more than 227 runs batted in. Jeff McNeil's been long, around longer than three or four seasons. Not Matt Olson. Matt Olson has a lot more home runs than 52. He's a 30 year old infielder from St. Clair, Michigan, originally drafted by the Rays, eventually traded to the Padres in a Hunter Renfro Xavier Edwards deal. Plays for the Padres. Come on, Logan. Logan's a Padres guy. And recently, last April, agreed to a seven-year, $80 million contract extension. Mo got it. Cronenworth, the Crone Zone. They sell those shirts there. Nice. So... These are officially licensed jerseys, so these are all worth taking a look at. And that's for Alan Murdoch. And those city in that City Connect jersey. That's awesome. And there's the auto right there. There you go, that's Alan with the Padres. I'm going to put all these, uh, fold all these jerseys up nicely later. All right, another active middle infielder. Thirty-five-year-old infielder, righty, bats right, throws right. Lifetime two ninety-two batting average, one thousand six hundred and ninety-seven hits, one hundred twenty-two home runs, six hundred twenty-five runs batted in. Been playing since twenty eleven. Played for three teams my entire career. Three-time All-Star, two-time All-MLB First Team, four-time Gold Glover, three-time Wilson Defensive Player of the Year, two-time Silver Slugger, and a two-time Batting Champion on two different teams, two different leagues. Who am I? Active middle infielder. And this jersey's with his uh, current team. Any guesses? Place for the Yankees. Come on, we got, we got to we got to know this now. Yankees, good glove, 
Silver Slugger, two-time batting champion with the Rockies and the Yankees, two different leagues. Not Tori or Torres. Active. There you go, Modelon. DJ LeMayhew. That's going to be for Peter Ang and the Yankees. Nice. And all the autographs, of course, have their respective stickers there. Majestic jersey. Love the officially licensed jerseys because you're going to get all the all the uh, genuine retail tags, Yankees logos. Nice, really cool. There you go, Peter. Congrats. First off, I'm no longer with us. I passed away in 2015. I was born in 1931 in Dallas, Texas. A Hall of Famer, first ballot, 83.8% of the vote, inducted in the late 70s. Uh, played for one team my entire career. Lifetime 274 batting average. 2,583 hits, 512 home runs. 1,636 RBIs, 14-time All-Star, two-time NL MVP, a Gold Glove Award winner, a two-time NL Home Run leader, a two-time NL RBI leader. My number retired by the team I played for, the only team I played for. Really nice. Who am I? Joe Jaspi. Not Joe Jaspi. I, I wish I had these numbers. No guesses with those numbers? Shortstop, first baseman. No, I think Gwynn passed away a lot earlier than 2015. This player was 83 years old when he passed away. Gwynn was taken from us too early. I think Gwynn's lifetime was probably better than 273 as well. Gwynn wishes he hit 512 home runs though, I want to say. Shortstop first baseman. I think I remember him more as a shortstop. He's a Cub. Let's play two. I'm actually a little surprised to see this autograph in here. Must have, they, Hit Parade must have had this in the archives for a little bit. Mr. Cub, let's play two. There we go, Kevin. Ernie Banks. That's awesome. That's Carter Wood with the team that he won in the, uh, with the spot that he won in the filler. Nice, another King's goal. Late on the horn there though. 
and my challenge that goal. Another jersey. So we got three down, seven more, a lot more to go. Alright, 34 year old, currently a free agent, played for four teams my entire career, lifetime 257 batting average, uh, a hit short of 1,000, 134 home runs, 530 runs batted in, played for the Reds, Diamondbacks, Yankees, and Phillies, bats left, throws right. He, I guess he's currently, he signed him, I guess he's kind of bouncing around. He's in the Mexican League, signed a minor league deal with the Mariners, opted out of his contract in the late summer with the Dubai Wolves. The Dubai Wolves. He's Dutch, plays for the Netherlands in the, uh, during international competition. had some moments not 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 pro far this might be a tough one Didi Gregorius Philly's edition of Didi Gregorius and that's going to go to Matthew Matthew Solway with that I think his, his autograph goes this way maybe Got all the Fanatic authentication here. Maybe it goes this way. Got all the MAB logos there as well. And he had he, he had shown some moments of potentially being... I feel like he had a few good seasons here and there, but just never really put that consistency together over time. All right, next box. Yeah, he played well with the Yankees, right? I feel like him being a lefty helped him. That short porch, I want to say in right, right field, I feel like really helped him a lot. And then with the Phillies, it just, he should have stayed with the Yankees, really. Oh, this is kind of cool. All right, interesting. All right. We've got a retired player here. Um, I'm currently 60 years old, lefty. Bats left, throws left, played for one, two, three, four, five, six, six teams my entire career. Five-time All-Star, a World Series champion in the mid-90s, three-time Silver Slugger, two-time home run leader, and got into the Hall of Fame last year from the uh, that Veterans Committee, or the Contemporary Baseball Era Committee, with 100% of the vote. Uh, lifetime 284 batting average, 2,490 hits, 493 home runs, 1,550 runs batted in. And this jersey is the jersey I wore with my first team. First team in my career. My long career. Played from 86 to 2004.
My Wikipedia, first paragraph of the Wikipedia, I was one of the most consistent, productive power hitters of the 1990s, posting over 80 runs batted in every year from 88 through 2002. What consistency. Became the first player since the dead ball era to lead the league in home runs in the AL in 89 and the NL in 92. Top 10 in voting for the league's most MVP from 89 through 1994. That's a good stretch. Oh, let me write down the thing. The person who got it, that's going to be for that person. Not Piazza, not Conseco. Played for the Blue Jays, then he went to the Padres, won the World Series with the Braves, then went to the Devil Rays for a few seasons, Cubs for a couple seasons, the Dodgers for a season, and then ended his career with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. His hometown team was born in Tampa, Florida. Not Joe Carter. Someone's going to get it. I feel like, yes, we're really close. Kevin's got it. Good crime dog. Fred McGriff. In his Blue Jays jersey, I always loved the way the Blue Jays did their numbers. I always thought that was really cool. This is worth pulling out, taking a look at. There's his big, bold autograph right there. TriStar sticker. Got that cool Blue Jays logo right there. Nike jersey. That's Andy Rask with the Blue Jays. Forgot that he started his career with the Blue Jays. There you go, Andy. With a spot he got straight up. He got five jerseys left. There's another one. This is, what colors are these? These are this team's colors, right? All right, who am I? Another retired player. I think another uh, is a Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer in 1991 with 90.5% 90 of the vote. First ballot Hall of Famer. Played for two teams my entire career. Lifetime 328 batting average. 3,000 hitter. 3,053 hits. 92 home runs. A, over, a little over 1,000 runs batted in. Bats left. Throws right. 18-time All-Star. An AL MVP in the late 70s. AL Rookie of the Year 10 years before that. Roberto Clemente award winner, seven-time AL batting champion. The uh, I think the AL batting champion is, uh, the trophy is named after me. Won se seven times. The numbers on the two teams I played for my entire, for my career, retired. Of course they have to be retired. Born in Panama. Eighteen straight All-Star games. Yeah, Axios has got it. Rod Carew. I love those old, uh, the old like kind of V-neck baseball jerseys right here. Old Twins colors, looks really sharp. 
There, there's his autograph right there. That's awesome. Cool Nike jersey. I like that. I don't know if this is for the Cooperstown edition, but that, that's a cool Nike logo right there as well. There it is, Cooper Sound Collection. Oh, I didn't write this down. That's going to be Twins Edition. That's going to be for you, Axios. Fred with the Twins. Strange batting stance, but sure could hit. Really did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the AL, I don't know who the NL batting, is it after Tony Gwynn maybe? But I feel like there was at some point, baseball wanted to be like hockey, wanted to name all the awards. Here's box 47 of 100. And I think the AL batting title is named after him. All right, next player. All right, I got a, I believe, an active player. Currently a free agent, but I'm 28 years old, 235 batting average, 26 home runs, 59 runs batted in, played for two teams my entire career. He was the 11th overall pick in the 2016 draft, but I feel like just never quite, I think injuries, I think he's just been injured a lot. Yeah, he made his big league debut in in September of 2019. Hit a homer off of Trevor Bauer and then hit home runs in each of his next two games, becoming the second player in history after Trevor Story to homer in each of his first three major league games. So, like, it felt like he was going to be... You know, that he was going to be really awesome in 2020... Became the first player to be first player from on this team to be selected for the AL Rookie of the Year in that shortened season. Then in 2021, injured list, suffering a right meniscus tear, ended up missing the rest of the season. Then in 2022, the next season, he got into concussion protocol. And just kind of struggled at the plate, still dealt with some some knee issues, demoted to AAA. Then he ended up being traded to the Diamondbacks, signed a one-year deal, and then ended up being non-tendered and became a free agent after after the end of last season. No one's picked him up since. I feel like someone's gotta pick him up as like a little as a as a flyer. Not a Kino. Think of your 2019, think back to your 20, 2016 MLB draft. Think of your 11th overall pick. Yep, Kyle Lewis. Yeah, he's got some upside. These Mariners jerseys look really sharp, too. It's a cool jersey. Austin has the Mariners. Three more to go. Yeah, those Mariners jerseys look really sharp. I feel 
feel like this guy's got a former number 11 overall pick. I feel like he's got it. Someone's got to pick him up as a reclamation project too if that knee is, is healthy. All right, who are you? Ah, okay. Another active player. I think, is this our first, I think this might be our first pitcher. First starting pitcher, a righty. Lifetime 61 win, 62 losses, a 4.43 ERA, 1,000 strikeouts. Uh, he was on the team. Some of you might know this little trivia. He was on the same high school baseball team that had me, not me, but this play, the player in here, who am I? Max Fried. Jack Flaherty, and then this is the this is that third pitcher. I don't think they're the same age. I think they all played in different sort of years, but they went to the same high school together at the same time. Um, he's with who is he? I think he, didn't he just sign with somebody? He signed a one-year deal with the Red Sox. And yeah, Mo the Lawn's got it. Uh, this is still White Sox edition of Lucas Giolito. <laughs> Giolito wishes he had the Kershaw's numbers. So again, these are all officially licensed jerseys. I feel like the Sox logo is always one of the cooler logos in Major League Baseball, right? Classic uniforms, retail tags, still attached to the sleeves. The jersey itself is 115 bucks. So just the jersey alone, who has the White Sox? Uh, Alan Matsui covers the, uh, covers the spot, then add whatever added value Lucas Giolito has. Yeah, I'm looking at his personal life Wikipedia section right now, Lucas Giolito. Uh, Giolito is the son of actress Lindsay Frost. Where do we know Lindsay Frost? From the movie Dead Heat in 1988, which was actually, that was a... Anyway, no, I don't remember that movie. Uh, collateral damage in 02 and the ring in 02. Um, and video game producer Rick Giolito, his maternal father, Warren Frost, was an actor, while his paternal grandfather, Silvio Giolito, was a two time Olympic fencer and multiple time U.S. national champion. Lucas's brother, Casey, is an actor, while his uncle, Mark Frost, is a novelist television screenwriter and producer best known as the co-creator of Twin Peaks with David Lynch. Another uncle, Scott Frost, is a writer. So there you go, Alan. All right, a couple more to go. Duncan, what's going on, man? He really, yeah, he's a good dude, good. Good to hear. I kind of wish the Dodgers picked him up as a sort of reclamation project, but yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, I guess if your dad's a video game producer, you, he's probably really into gaming as well. All right. Who do we have here? On who Ahmed Rosario is, I think he's with the Dodgers. He's still with the Dodgers right now, isn't he? Pretty solid shortstop, originally from the Guardians. 
Uh, who am I? I'm a retired baseball player, a righty first baseman, third baseman, currently 44 years old, born in Cincinnati, Ohio, played for four teams my entire career. Oh, is he with Tampa now? Lifetime 281 batting average, 150 home runs, 618 runs batted in. Three-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, a gold glover, an AL Hank Aaron Award winner, and in this team's Hall of Fame, big fan favorite. Big fan favorite of this team. Uh, known in... He was known as the Greek god of walks in the best-selling book Moneyball. That should give it away. Why? Wallweiss? Not Greek. Come on, everyone remembers him. He, he had a big goatee. Won two World Series with the Red Sox. 04 and 07. I mean, didn't put up a didn't put up monster numbers, but I feel like those seasons he was a critical part of those those Red Sox teams. Yeah, Kevin Euclid. Remember him? Euc. And that's Andy Rask's second jersey, by the way. Congrats, Andy. You. Nice. Again, not like a Hall of Fame or anything like that, but definitely a fan favorite. Andy with the Red Sox. All right. Tenth jersey. These are a lot of fun. Thanks for playing, everybody. Thanks for playing Who Am I? It's always fun to play these little games when we're doing these uh, memorabilia breaks. I don't... What are we looking like orders-wise? No other orders coming in. We still have about an hour and a half left in the show if anybody wants to try to spark a late-night rally. Start grabbing some spots now on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I could shout out those orders, and then maybe we can get something else going tonight. Uh, we're going to end with a really nice one here. We're going to end with a we're going to end with a Hall of Famer here. All right. Who am I? Currently 58 years old, former second baseman, catcher and sometime outfielder. Lifetime 281 batting average, 3060 hits. 291 home runs, 1,105 runs batted in, 414 stolen bases, played for one team my entire career, seven-time All-Star, four-time Gold Glover, five-time Silver Slugger, a stolen base leader in the mid-90s, Roberto Clemente Award winner, uh, my number retired by my team in my team's Hall of Fame, inducted in 2015, third ballot, 82.7% of the vote, well-deserved Hall of Famer, this is a great one. Only the ninth player in the 3,000 hit club to collect all of my hits with one team. Also, there you go. Mo the Lawn's got it. Craig Biggio, Astros. That's going to be uh, Bennett Page with the Astros. Um, Biggio also led the NL in times hit by pitch five times with his career total, 285 hit by pitches. And he really leaned into those. Uh, first member of the Hall of Fame to be depicted in an Astros uniform on his plaque. And this is the classic Stroh's colors right here, worth a look. Nice, he got his number, he got a Hall of Fame inscription, love that. Is this his rookie year jersey? Part of the Killer Bees. Still got, look, look at that. Covers the, jersey itself covers the cost of the spot. Got 
Got the giant star right there, the Astros logo, the cool Cooperstown Nike logo as well. Love that. That's awesome. There you go. And that is, once again, for Bennett Page, who won a spot in the filler, got randomized the Astros, and got Hall of Famer Craig Biggio. Very nice stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for break, breaking with us. Thanks to everybody who's playing along with us with, for, uh, for Who Am I? I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time. Uh, the other killer bees, it was uh, Biggio, Berkman, and um, Biggio, Lance Berkman, and the guy the Red Sox traded and ended up being a Hall of Famer. Bagwell. There you go. And then sometimes some people put in... They did have a time where they had a bell, maybe? Someone bell? I don't know. Maybe there was like a fourth at some point, but those were the three, three main ones. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.